So I won one of them big stuffed animals one time at the fair, which I hated because I carried around the whole time. And I win something, and the guy goes, what do you want? And I said, well, give me that goofy-looking minion right there, that little minion. He says, what? I said, that goofy-looking minion with the purple hat right there. He goes, that's the manager. <laughs> you ever ride the rides at the fair? They scared the heck out of me. My little boy's, Daddy, can we ride the roller coaster? Yeah, we ain't riding the roller. You do realize, son, they put that up in an hour in the parking lot, all right? <laughs> Probably got a bunch of parts left over on that daggone thing. Remember last Christmas when I got you that bicycle and put it together in 50 minutes and you got on it, the wheels fell off and you racked your nuts? Remember that whole day right there? That's gonna happen to you on that roller coaster right there. He's like, come on, Daddy. No, we're not doing it, that's it. So we're on the roller coaster there and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I was so mad, I almost puked on that thing. It went upside down, ah! Oh, I get done, I go, you didn't tell me it went upside down. The guy running, it goes, it's not supposed to. <laughs> How about that Ferris wheel? You like that Ferris wheel? Who, me either. Oh yeah, the Ferris wheel. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I like better in the whole world than being completely bored and terrified at the same time. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the same thing my wife told me on her honeymoon right there. All right. <laughs> you ever get stuck on the Ferris wheel? Oh, man. I was up here with my kids. We were stuck. They was crying, freaking out, trying to calm them down. Don't worry, kids. We'll be all right. I'm sure that guy running it with seven fingers and a pentagram tattoo. All right. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll have us down in no time. Here's... As soon as he's done smoking that joint, I'm sure we'll be right down out of this deal. Anybody ever been to the fair on senior day? <laughs> I went on senior day. Most popular ride on senior day is the ambulance on the way out of the fair. <laughs> that gum, there's one leaving the scrambler every two minutes in there. Best part about senior day, though, it only lasts from 3.30 to 5, so that's a good thing. They got special prizes on senior day. I saw an old guy bust a balloon with a dart and he won a pair of Depends with a picture of Def Leppard on it right there. <laughs> the food's different on senior day, the fried foods, it's unbelievable. Anybody ever have fried Lipitor? <laughs> they got a guy guesses your weight at the fair, they need somebody to guess your cholesterol level in there. I had a buddy of mine used to do that. He used to try to guess people's weight at the fair. I went with him one time and this girl come up there. She goes, what do you do? He goes, I guess people's weight. She goes, how do you win? I mean, she was a looker, you could tell. <laughs> he said, well, I guess your weight and then you get on a scale. If I'm five pounds either way, I win, you lose. She goes, I'm on duck. He's like, all right, uh, oof. 317. <laughs> she gets on there, <laughs> you lose, 345. <laughs> I'm like, he loses, are you kidding me? I got John Deere attachments way less than you do right now. Congratulations, you're blimp worthy. <laughs> but you can gain weight at the fair, it's all fried. Have you, you like to, you ever eat the corn dogs at the fair? Oh, yeah. oh I love him. Holy <laughs> smoke. Have you seen the size of the fair corn dogs? <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm not saying they're big, but I was eating one at the rodeo when a horse come by and winked at me. <laughs> they're a good value though, they're only a dollar. But what they don't tell you, it's another $75 for them to come out to your house and snake your toilet, all right? <laughs> They neglect to tell you that. I tell you what I really hate at the fairs, the porta potties they got lined up there. Oh, what a disgusting wrench of stuff that is. They ought to have a midway game where you can win scented candles and fly swatters. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't go in them anymore. Uh -uh. I was in a porta potty five months ago, and no lie, my eyebrows just grew back last Tuesday. All right. <laughs> 
I don't go in them porta potties when I'm at the fair. I take a plastic bag and I pee in a Ziploc plastic bag. That's what I do. My wife's like, put that away. You're embarrassing me. What do you mean embarrassed? You ought to walk proudly. It looks like I won you a goldfish over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's catching on too. My buddy walked by. Hey, Larry, look, I'm doing it too. Look at this. I'm like, I told you that. You, uh, you're not supposed to poop in it. What are you doing? Get it out of here. Get it out of here. You ever see what some folks wear at the fair? It's almost like they ain't got a mirror at the house. I seen a guy about 326 pounds wearing Lululemon shorts. In the world, he bent down to pick something up. I could see his Lulu and his lemons. All right, Get up, you're scaring my kids. This is ridiculous. 